Hello, and thank you for attending our presentation. We would like to thank the Clute Institute for our inclusion in the 2017 International Conference on Education. It is our honor and great pleasure to present our paper on LOL, Laughter in Online Learning, Humor's Role in Student Motivation. Interestingly enough, when we first proposed our idea to our mentor, his reaction was quite similar to much of academia. His response, while extremely supportive and encouraging, included a joke about wearing a white painted face with a red bulb nose, honking a horn as he read what we had written. His input and guidance has been invaluable. As we included the picture of this clown for this presentation, we considered recent news reports. And although some see clowns as humorous, they can just as easily be viewed in a negative manner. This is a perfect example of the uncertainty faced by instructors when adding humorous material to the online class. T.S. Eliot once wrote, humor is also a way of saying something serious. As enrollment in the online environment increases, it becomes incumbent upon faculty to understand the dynamics of student motivation and retention in this non-traditional setting. The goal of every instructor is to be effective in the class by engaging students. Humor has the ability to encourage that engagement. Our research will discuss the role humor plays in an online class, its effectiveness as a strategy for student engagement, the types of humor which can be incorporated, and types which may be misinterpreted and seen as inappropriate. As with any great reward, there comes great risk. Beginning a class with a humorous story is uncertain at best. The concern of possibly offending a student, especially in a diverse online arena, weighs heavily on the mind of any instructor who is eager to relate to students on a more personal level. Online instructors must take into account student backgrounds, cultural diversity, and in some instances, the general age of the students and social norms and mores. In the online classroom, instructors must be cognizant of the diverse cultural differences and ensure not to create a tone that offends any student. Also, faculty must avoid sarcasm, inappropriate humor, or even excessive humor. Not all humor will yield a positive result. However, students like to laugh, even during serious situations. Laughing and learning are not only compatible, but they also provide a vehicle by which student motivation is increased, which in turn increases student participation and potentially retention. Even Walt Disney understood the relationship between laughter and learning when he was quoted as saying, laughter is no enemy of learning. According to Roth, several decades of research has shown that when used in the correct manner, humor can heighten classroom tone. When instructors pepper humor into discussions, student attention and retention improve. In other words, humor influences students' eagerness to learn and helps them to stay engaged. It has a positive impact on student motivation. Many academics do not associate humor with learning, especially in the online classroom. While it is easier than ever to find humorous content on the internet to add to the class, the effectiveness of humor is one area that has been little tested and we wondered why. Our research has shown that many faculty lack the confidence to successfully incorporate humor. Another reason is a fear of not being taken seriously. The perception of many individuals in education reflects the thought that the classroom should be a serious place with little room for humor. 
we beg to differ. We expect these views to change and believe there is a tremendous positive impact when adding humor to the online setting. Online instruction can at times feel like a solitary endeavor for both student and instructor. The addition of humor adds a personal contact to the class and allows the instructor to be, be perceived in a more welcoming manner. It is important, however, that we not fall victim to becoming comedians. Humor takes many forms. A simple cartoon, which seems to capture a student's worst fears, may just put those fears to rest. A smile on a Monday can set the tone for a positive learning environment for the rest of the week. As mentioned, online instructors are sensitive to potential student isolation. For years, some educators in the traditional classroom have incorporated humor as a part of their classroom strategies. Ironically, humor is a serious matter, for it joins individuals and acts as a type of icebreaker for many students. In some ways, online courses have an advantage over a traditional brick and mortar environment. The addition of humor in this setting allows for instructor personalization and freedom within the class, which then encourages students to engage more fully in discussions of class material. As instructor personalization and freedom increase, student engagement increases. People remember humor. Lee Cohen and Russler assert that when college students are asked to identify what makes a good instructor, among the first characteristics noted is a sense of humor. Online education is increasingly becoming accepted as an educational method specifically to a unique subset of adult learners. The inclusion of humor individualizes the class and helps eliminate the sense of remoteness in an otherwise secluded setting. In 2005, Lashavo and Schatz were among the first online instructors to test humor as an effective strategy. Their research confirmed that adding humor to classroom instruction did notably increase participation and overall student interest. In the years since the Loshavo and Schatz study, reports have concluded that humor is instrumental in creating an inviting environment, reducing stress, improving attention, enhancing learning, creating a positive emotional and social environment, reducing anxiety, enhancing self-esteem, and increasing self-motivation. So we asked ourselves, what type of humor is appropriate? What is an effective method to add humor to the class? And how do faculty form a cohesive group of students through humor when many of the students have their own individual ideas, beliefs, and thoughts on what may or may not be funny. To help online educators build a sense of community, we must begin slowly by interspersing bits of humor. Instructors who cannot see their audience must attempt to see each student and help form this unity. As a result, the instructor becomes a real person to the online student. It is very interesting and relevant to note that the addition of humor in the online setting produces psychological and physiological benefits. A study conducted by Goal and Raymond concluded that the brain's dopamine system is activated or lights up when people experience humor. Dopamine is an important element for long-term memory and goal-oriented motivation. So, how do we use humor as a strategy? Well, humor should mostly be content-related and age-appropriate. In addition, timing is essential. 
humor can be added to the online class with the following YouTube videos, cartoons and pictures, light quotes and jokes, and the use of bitmojis. As an example, this bitmoji has been used successfully in an online class. It is a simple cartoon which faculty can use to ease students' jitters about feedback. The point is to help make online instructors more relatable. Other illustrations may be used during classroom routines, such as announcements or notes, or instructors could showcase humorous off-the-cuff warm-ups and include video links and jokes that are related to class objectives and content. Another way to add humor effectively may be through example. A math teacher may want to include a picture of how not to solve for X. Or perhaps an instructor may begin the class by telling a joke. So everyone, do you know why you should never argue with a 90 degree angle? Because it's always right, of course. Now that may seem silly, but students do remember it. Instructors, however, must choose content wisely, avoid overdoing humor, and focus on timing the supplementation of humor. Humor can reduce anxiety and help bond participants when used sparingly and effectively. But don't be fooled. Adding humor is no easy task. The personalization factor requires preparation and consideration. This customized approach to learning, while seemingly simple, takes deliberate planning and research. Humor can help students to remember important concepts and course material as well as to keep them engaged. The bottom line? An online instructor must understand and differentiate between appropriate and inappropriate humor and ensure that all humorous additions to the class are course relevant and suitable. This fake Tales magazine cover went viral a couple of years ago and has been used successfully in an online class as a reminder about punctuation. Rather than provide a definition, this seemingly simple example helps students to understand and remember the importance of a well-placed comma. There is no doubt that further study is required to determine the extent of humor's impact on student engagement and retention in the online classroom. Humor can become a supportive learning instrument because it boosts the strength of human connections. Adding humor could become a novelty in online instruction. One more strategy for instructors to include in their toolkit to increase student motivation and engagement. Should future studies determine that student learning increases in classes incorporating humor, there exists significant potential for retention overall. Expanded research is necessary to determine the full impact of humor in online education and to help ease the minds of some in academia who continue to question its effectiveness. It is our assertion that when students are motivated, they become drawn to their work in spite of the hurdles and take pleasure in their accomplishments. The higher the involvement and contentment, the higher the chance students will stay in school. Humor allows for a spirited form of instruction in which the instructor delivers a very serious message in a not so serious way. This allows for students and the instructor to form a bond that encourages the application of course material to student lives. Only then does true learning take place. We would first like to thank Dr. Blaine Garfalo for his guidance and support for our research project. Next, Thank you to everyone who has participated in this presentation. We welcome and look forward to all comments, 
questions, feedback, and reflections on our topic of humor in the online class. This concludes our presentation. The resources included were used to support our hypothesis and belief regarding the importance of including humor as an overall benefit to online learners. We hope to see you all at next year's conference. Thank you.